contact with Planet Explorer is 7.6. Alpha. Episode 43. Steam Edition. I think we need to find a way to go to where the Epiphany crashed. Before that, we need to regroup with all the survivors around right here. That'll be your job. Did you get hurt or something? Run along now. Can I be of service? Successful. Awaiting request, Master. Echo, scan the surrounding areas for life forms. Family size. Command acknowledged. Scanning for life forms. And prepare yourselves for the hunt. Preparing to engage. Time to intercept. Two minutes and count. Hostiles detected. Incoming enemy targets. Tactical options available. Plotting course. Warning. Enemy detected. Advising. Safe distance. Proceed with caution. Preparing to engage in 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Scanning all systems. Caution. Accessing GPS. Distance to target. 50 meters. Rapid fire targets engaged. Activating. Selecting vehicle. Alert system status. Weapons selected. Hostiles detected. Targeting. Enemy detected. Firing salvo. Firing. Confirmed. Targeting. Scanning. Targeting. Lock on primary target. Firing cell. Target lock. Enemy detected. Traction locked. Incoming enemy targets. Enemy terminated. Fire at will. Resistance is futile. Area secure. Time for a new ride. Searching data. Selecting vehicle. Initializing. Opening map UI. Well, 
after a long hunt, Newt returns to Carter's camp to get some rest and relaxation. Don't want to run them over in their sleep there, Newt. in the morning, Echo. Set alarm. Confirmed. Good night, Master. Good morning. This is your wake-up call. Looks like everybody got up at the same time. Initializing. Thanks, guys. See you later. The arachnids are retreating. Awaiting request, Master. Stealth mode activated. Boosters engaged. Retro rockets firing. Warning, speed exceeding safety parameters. Proceed with caution. Surprise! If there's one thing the hunter bike is good for, and that's a quick kill. That little guy got victimized.
don't want to hit the monkeys. Almost there. If Adisa and the others are camped out in the forest, waiting for her as they do their final prep, and take whatever, moving the stuff that they've, they've stripped from this ship, I'll help her out, send her on her merry little way, and I'll go on mine. Hi there! Now with that quest done. Ah, uh, thanks, Newt. I think I'm not scared anymore. Woohoo! Whoa, yeah! <laughs> it feels good to be, but to be my old self again. All right, you take care, and watch out for Master Moof, Staffa, and the others. Okay? You better go catch up to them. I gotta get going. One more thing. When I set up the Earth Camp, maybe we'll work together then. Yeah, okay. Sure. But you'll have to help me out with a few things first. Right. I'll be seeing you. Later. Bye, Newt. You gotta get me one of those bikes! Okay. I think we'll shadow them from the trees. Let me also make sure that they do reach camp. I have to catch up to... Adisa, she's got the hard drive still. Hostiles detected. Incoming enemy targets. Tactical options available. Target lock. Now to take these little guys out. That's the hunter bike specialty. Clean quick kills. Energy supply is still at 61.1. It's a beautiful day, but let's not get wet today. Time to glide.
Ouch! You carpet. You're gonna be a rug in my house. Hard to kill, but not much supplies. Ooh. Uh-oh. Now, as of June 13th, Friday, evening time, depending on what area of the world you are in, Planet Explorers 0.8 was officially released on Steam. The standalone version will be released um, early into next week. But since then, you'll have to eradicate all of your previous saves to run it. I'm going to continue with this route and get the last of the videos out in this series before I even go near it. Like I said previously, in that build they have introduced boats, new weapons to go with the boats. I wonder if they can be outfitted onto other vehicles as well. Now, there is a way that I could do it. I have the standalone version in case something actually goes wrong and I can't be linked up to the internet. That way it's still linked basically to Steam, but I can play it on my computer without linking into the Steam network. Let's continue from my saves. So I could, since I have it loaded in two spots, I could activate Steam, do the download, and then keep working the standalone version till it's all done here, then instantly jump onto Steam without the, the um, download or update. Because oh, really? In the 0 0.8, you're supposed to be able to save your bases. So, that's why I haven't put much into, or uh, will not be putting much into this one here. It's showing you the basic base build and going from there. Well, Newt is at the Earth Camp, and look at that. Lau and the others are here, and Master Mustafa as well. Here we go! Hi everyone. Good to see you made it. Hey Newt, what's what's up? You guys now getting up? Oh, it was a long trip getting here. Uh, I just need some supplies. So what are you doing out there? The colony, remember? I have to um, scout for locations and then set one up. I want to do that before I head back to the to the desert and deliver the hard drive. If I can at least get something set up, I can repair some of these vehicles and maybe I can boost uh, the communication signal as well. <laughs> Good luck on that. 
You're telling me. But Rawl and Peter and Ava are on the case, so there might be a chance. I'm going to go back and properly rename these ISOs. Lately, when I've been downloading ISOs from isoplanetexplorers.com, some of them are just coming with a serial number. I don't care for it, because you don't know what it is when it gets into your uh, editor. So I find myself renaming them. I'll do a copy and paste from this site when I'm there, and I'm looking at the ISO that I want to download. And I'll actually copy the person's name who made it onto my clipboard or notepad, and then copy the name of the vehicle or craft or weapon there at two. So I've got, say that it's by Pestiga. I'll put Pestiga's roly-poly gun, whatever it is, and go with that. That way when I look at it, it's not just that I can't remember who I, whose ISO it is, especially if they're not signing their artwork, I can turn around and say, you know what? That's from that, and that's looking at that, and it's right on the inside by renaming it before I put it into the Planet Explorer's ISO folder. Even if it's a zip file, I, o I open the, the I rename the zip file. Once it is downloaded, I open it, unzip it, rename the contents if I have to, and then put it where it needs to be. There's nothing like opening something and seeing that it says uh, I32056 and don't know if you did six downloads, if you, that, that is a gun or if it's a truck or if it's a whatever. I made a folder in the Planet Explorers folder marked what the hell is this? <laughs> so, so I can just stick stuff in if I don't know what the hell is that. And then I go back and I sort through them and I'll find them and I'll rename them. But that's too much work. So if you do it before, you don't have to go back and pull them out and do it again. Unfortunately, I'll have to spend some time pulling out some of the old ones, because I didn't think of this ahead of time. Damn hindsight! <sighs> There'll also be an adjustment period for the... what's it called? 0 0.8 with the new systems that they have in like the different fuel cells for larger vehicles if you have an old one that was burning nothing, nothing but fuel and now you need to upgrade well then what do you got you've got to upgrade a couple of crafts that I won't bother to export because in the end it will come down to getting new fuel cells and the new parts and putting on them. But at least I can take a quick look over some of the stuff that I do have and move on from that point. I think a lightweight vehicle will be better so I'm going to use my rift board. Go scout out some locations.
Got stuff for me? Now this vehicle has already been upgraded, not with the new fuel sets, but at least the interior and whatnot, just waiting to be exported. I'm going to use this one in this version. It was actually my first vehicle that was ever built, one of them, and then it just, it, I improved on it over time. But um, it, was, it was a very useful little thing. sure to come in handy. Saving this as a checkpoint before we move on. Need anything? Well, actually, yes. The hard drive? Any news? Need anything? Well, come back in an hour and I'll give it to you as good as new. Sure thing. Hey, Nang. Well, I'm not going to sit around here for an hour. I've got more locations to scout. So, that's what I'll do. This is your reminder. It is lunchtime, Master. Your electrolyte count is low. Mm -hmm. Please restore. Echo, select aerial vehicle for aerial reconnaissance. System ready. See you later, guys. Have a good evening. Okay, Newt. Take care. If you find a good spot, come back and let us know. Only when I build it. We don't get a choice. It's real estate, remember? Location, location, location. Opening map UI. So, up, up, and away she goes. Unfortunately, I've been running into a little problem. I can finish a video, sometimes two or three in one day. Uploading them to YouTube is a problem in itself. And I get this message that I don't understand about sending it up in a, in a streamable format would be quicker and faster. But I don't want to break down the quality of the video, like the size. So, I think that's something that I should look into in time. Any of you uh, viewers got any suggestions about how to upload a video that is, um, what, uh, 720? Um, and do a fast upload a stream in a streamable format, as they say? Because they say, click here for help, and they tell you absolutely nothing of any merit or importance. I hate help screens that ain't no help. So, um... If any of you guys uh, know anything from your own experiences, leave a comment. And let me know. My other problem that sorry that you can't help me with, of course, is the internet provider. 
mine sucks. And because of that factor, my internet goes off, sometimes on regular intervals. Mm -hmm. To say I, I hate these guys would be an understatement, but there's nothing that you can do about it. So, as you can see, my suspicions were correct. My flyovers did re um, show me exactly this, this. There are only guards in the Mars camp. There are no mainline NPCs. Talking to what's her face? What's her face? What the heck? The devil. Daida. Oh yes. Made them all leave. When she left, they left as well. Now, I'm counting on the factor that there is another camp and they've gathered there. Why they didn't take their guards is another story, but... I guess the Martians are kind of weird and people are kind of expendable. But if their population is so small, shouldn't they take better care of their people? Unless it's a matter of their materials are worth more than their people. The people may have a great worth to them, yes, but their materials may have a greater worth, so they left guards to guard the camp. Could be just strategic. I mean, maybe they, did, they just don't want their camp to fall into the hands of the Earthlings. Or into the hands of the aliens, for that matter. But I'm betting they would rather a camp fall to the aliens than it fall to the Earthlings with all that bias that they have going on. Well, down below me is, of course, the grassland pasture. But off to my side over there, you can see, that's the forest. Yeah, the equivalent of a jungle, rainforest. Could use some improvements on some of the trees and making it denser. It's a small area that's been open. It's not a big area yet. But at least you can get a glimpse of what it looks like in some of the new trees. So, new circle around and down. Yeah, that thing that I see out there in the distance. Let's talk to Newt. That's not a natural structure. Mm. This might be a bad location. But I'm going to investigate it anyways. I think I can use it and its resources. Maybe the trees will cover my existence. And we do have to keep an eye on the locals. You know they're keeping an eye on us. Whoops, not gonna land down there. Down there's a little primal. Yes. But I know what I saw. And that was a native settlement, and fairly large by the look of it. Well, this is the Marauder. With Planet Explorers 7.6. Alpha. The Steam Edition. Newt's Journeys. I'm out. Special thanks to IncomeTech.com for the royalty-free music. I'll go with Alfonso to set I agree with him that we marshal from the earth and we be separated from him. If we all live together, there'll be too much tension for the incident. Even though I have a hard time trusting any earth, I still do believe that if we want to succeed on this planet, we need to work together. Let's see.